defend them like any other team in the ACC. Just uh, every team in the ACC has dominant players, and Virginia is actually one that has more dominant players, and so that so they are the main three. Not to say that you can completely ignore the other two, but if you focus in on the big three that take 90% of their team shots, and you keep them in check, you're going to be good. So it's in a sense it's hard, but at the same time it's easy in knowing what your game plan is. Definitely to get back in transition D, you know. Um, I feel like uh, Monica Wright and Littles are great players. Muhammad down there in the post, great players. Big thing for us is going to be getting back in transition D. I mean, encourage our team to stay together. Encourage our team that, you know, this is the last go around. Like in our gym, you know, show our fans a great time. Go out there and play hard, your best. We got three people who dominate, um, who we are really focusing on with Muhammad. But I guess that would be my um, personal challenge, just to make sure that she keep her off the boards. And like I said, just make, maintaining those three players and make everybody else playmakers would be a big, huge um, thing for our team. And um, I guess, like I said, coming out with a big win for another um, top 25 team would be a great thing for the Seminoles. Four years being here, I mean, it's been great for me. And, have to go in and play tomorrow. Definitely, I just like I told the reporter, I hope I don't shed a tear. You know, it's really emotional. I'm gonna miss my teammates, my coaches, the gym, playing in the gyms. I think our team is gonna go after it and get after it. It's gonna be, they're gonna want it more. I'm gonna want it more for myself, but I feel like my teammates gonna want it more for me because they feel like this is my last time playing and, you know, to show respect. I'm just so thankful for everything that the, these four years have. They've just gone so fast. I don't know where they went, but. At the same time, they went slow enough that I watched. I've been able to observe everything that has happened. And as simple as watching our fans, you know, buying into our program and, and showing up and being a six man to the super fans and having Coach Sue on both sides of the court. Obviously, uh, I think Virginia is a great basketball team, and obviously with those, uh, especially uh, Wright and Littles, they're two of the most explosive kids in the conference. And, uh, and and so from that standpoint, as we learned up there, that you know you have to get back in transition, and you can't let it be one on one. Uh, and our team defense has to try to uh, contain those guys as much as possible. And as hard as it is, uh, you know we have to do that possession after possession. So I think that's one of the main things we learned, and just how athletic they are. We have to match that athleticism. Uh, uh, possession uh, each time we go out there. With Marinton and Kayla's last game and uh, here in Tallahassee, I think a lot of those are uh, things that uh, could be huge distractions for us, but we've got to limit all of those as much as we can and focus on what we have to do in order to beat Virginia. And that still comes down to you know every possession, every play from the first minute to the end, uh, and then we'll let all that other stuff take care of itself. But that's the mindset we're trying to go into it with is uh, it's got to be little by little, and then uh, the big picture will happen. We've got to rebound the same way we did up there. Uh, Maisha, Aisha Muhammad is one of the best rebounders in our conference and probably in the country, you know, averaging double digits in rebounding. We've got to find a way to keep both her and those other two off the boards are fantastic in that way. I think the other thing we've got to do a great job in is transition defense, and they love to get out and go. Uh, we love to send people to the offensive board, so it'll be a great matchup in that way. Same way that we approach the North Carolina game. There are a lot of uh, storylines to that, a lot of things happening, and, and our players uh, met today as uh, just a team players only meeting and just talked about what they need to do. And to me, that shows a lot of leadership on our captain's part and that they're really focused and know uh, what's important. I hope it's a great honor uh, to have the people of Tallahassee honor them because they have done so much for this program, all three of them. I mean, not, not just on the court, not just statistically, not just where they've carried us, but, but off the court and as ambassadors and, and really representatives of who we are. And so I'm just excited about uh, being able to honor uh, that tomorrow night.